That thing just looks terrible. My clients just like to throw them up in the tree, so I'd be sad if they were too nice. This way, they can throw them up there all they want. I won't cry. It's one of those places that, like, if I never got to go back there, I, I would always remember it. If you look at it on the map, it's not that far, <laughs> but you could be fishing in Mexico or Belize or the Bahamas or a lot of places in a shorter amount of time than it takes to get to the Devil's River from Central Texas, you know, so it's it's an adventure just getting there. I'll let you get your, well, I'll get it for you. What's that? Your rods. Oh, thank mine you, are, sir. Mine are, uh, mine are up in the attic. It's one of the most secluded rivers in the continental U.S. It takes so much effort just to, to fish here and to, to survive while you're out on this river. As a tournament fisherman, it's quite different than what I'm used to. What you got in this thing, rocks? Yeah, you got the heavy side. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, it's really a, a unique environment because it's this, you know, this parched no man's land and all of a sudden there's like this river that just comes up out of the ground it's like a little ribbon of life There's a lot of fishing pressure out here yeah you know if it just wasn't so crowded out here you know that's the only thing that's less than ideal The Devil's River is a very beautiful place. You know, it can be very nice to you one moment and, uh, you know, punch you in the back of the head the next minute. get hurt on this river, there's nowhere to go. I'm just falling towards me! I mean, you're, you're just at the mercy of, of nature the entire way, and uh, nobody's gonna pick you up. You have to get to the, the takeout point, which could be 20 miles down the river. things that I, I always have done ever since I was a kid was anytime I'm around a lake or a river, I always look into the water to um, see what's down there. And here, it is a flourishing ecosystem. There's just a ton of bait down there. You've got crawfish, sunfish species, and of course, a thriving smallmouth and largemouth population. And every bend on the river is different. That's a better fish. Fish on, we got a double. <laughs> As a tournament fisherman, my goal is to catch, you know, five fish, five quality fish, but sometimes I'll miss the big picture. There's very few places that I have gone that are this remote and the resources are so untouched. We're able to go out there and just experience things as fishermen. And kind of brings back some of those, those feelings of enjoyment for just fishing that I used to have. One of the coolest things about being on a river in Texas is unlike a lot of other Western states, most of Texas is private land. So you can never get on it. The Devil's River and a lot of other rivers are beautiful little kind of pathways in to seeing a lot of stuff that you could never see otherwise. I 
I think it's good for everybody to get out and just kind of experience that wildness, that remoteness. And I think you discover things about yourself that you can't discover in the house. And as, as tough as the trips on the river can be, at the end of the day, I just feel so good. I mean, I can lay down and go to sleep on a rock after eating some mush in a bowl full of bugs and sticks. Just a day out there, just like, man, I'm alive, you know? It's like, this is what it's about. And if you've never had that experience, it's like, man, there's, there's nothing like it, you know? It's awesome. <laughs> it's really nice to just be able to kind of relax and not have to worry about getting a check or getting good points, you know? I'll write you a check. You just can't cash it. <laughs> I hear the screaming fan. That means the camera's not on. <laughs> but the mic's still on, so I can't drop my F-bombs. <laughs>